Oh, is this the new region? No, wait! We made it, look! It's the new region. Oh my god, there's so many things to explore here now. Well, <laughs> new region, new side quests. No, I, I have to do the Barret stuff. We can, we can do the... We can do the side quest later. I have to find Barret. Dying to get to the dying part. New region who dis? <laughs> oh, Chimera. I still have to try to get Alexander. I have to get all these summons. So I guess this is the part in the original where you'd get lost in the desert and Elena is stuck in it right now. Tifa! I'm getting interrupted. Here I felt. I'll take care of them. is so ridiculous. Never in doubt. I feel like a chore. Let's reverse about Master Good Narrative and Open World. I agree! Like, I'm excited to get to the, op the side stuff as well. Look, everyone's so happy. The blue dad and gold saucer. Like the discovery one? I don't know. I didn't really- I didn't do the Chadley stuff. But as if you can like go back to it and it's not missable. But no I didn't. I didn't even talk to Chadley. He's one of us now. He is! We- we can't use him in combat yet. Honestly, good, because like the first time he would have been like in combat scenario was in like the sewer. Even though the sewer was very short, thankfully. But I didn't want the first time to learn how he worked in the sewer. Look at him, he's checking his little booties. Yeah, get the sand off your booties. Look at his little running. He is he's so cute. Hey, where's that bird? All three of them. Alright, what's your weakness? Oh, you haven't been assessed yet? She's just in the air! Wind? Okay. I was gonna guess ice. No! <laughs> Why don't games pause when battery dies? That should be a requirement. You're gonna make a game. Controller dies, it pauses. Go on. No holding back. Shit. Ready? It's on you. So it's my turn? Are you okay? Bana, no, no. No, 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 no. Come on. 
Somebody got pressured. You'll be blown away. You'll see. Someone looks kind of shaky. Wow, that was a really fast pressure to stagger. Gotta go for it now. Is that it? No big deal. Did I get these? <laughs> Alright, Radiant Ward. And the Switch does it. Wow, Switch does something that the PS5 doesn't? Come on, Sony. Hi, Oliver. No, oh, I lost I lost the bird. Wait, is that him? Oh man. That's him. Be a good Taurus. Is Puffers on Discord? <laughs> Oliver's like checking out other, out other dogs. This is cool. This is a really... This is a more fun way of... Good. Shit. Good at all. Boss fight? Out in the middle of the desert. Thank you, Easy Rad, for three months. Aww. I'll be chewing on sand for weeks. <laughs> the sneeze. <laughs> Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am. Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here, anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said... the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. You're getting the real what, backstory now? I know the man who murdered all those people. Dyn, my best friend. <laughs> It was four years ago. The Corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God, no. It's Shinra. They just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on. Oh man. Hey. Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. So what? Still 
still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. You just have to play the sad music. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Honestly, do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. Sound like his arm got like actually shot off, but it just didn't. God, that bitch. So Merlin's. I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. They were best friends after did. all. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I. So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. And I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. He knows, does he? Well, okay. What are we waiting for? No time like the present. Oh, great in the original. I think how there's a bench there. Barrett's back! We got the crew back! Hey, a Vulcan cannon. Oh, that's perfect! That's where this is. Oh, just better magic attack? And the music right now. Yeah, it's like the post plate fall music, but it's just it hits different. <laughs> I should probably maybe use barrier. He gets MP so quickly for ATB. That's so sad. Hold on, Oliver. Got three HP ups. <laughs> He's got a plenty of the magic abilities in his whatever. Oh, I wanted to give him first. Eh, uh, first, first strike. It's fine. I don't need it. Well, Barrett, you'll be ready.
Try this. That's the music. It's <laughs> suddenly so loud. I can do that again. <laughs> Just looks like a, an arena. God, Barrett. <laughs> I went back to the sad music. Oh no, is this where it's gonna be? No, the bench! And you're sure he's here? For sure. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Barrett. Go. Oh. <laughs> we can do it, chat. We gotta stay strong for Barrett. Alright, Barrett. Did you enjoy your little sit? This, you know, Ketchy's probably like... I thought these guys were gonna be fun, and it's been drama left and right with them. Like, like he's new to the party for this, like... <laughs> one of the heaviest things <laughs> in, the, in the game. <laughs> Dying, we can talk! No, I'm already crying! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just walk. He's walking like he's about to go punish his child. Oliver, please not now. Just give me like a minute. I know he's not barking for any for no reason. Oh, it's their house. What? It's just a Done. That you? Hey. I know you. Dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Eric Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Hell, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Dine. What happened to you? Though, come to think of it, I don't see a give, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here oh no you son of a bitch still living on shinra's kill no man it ain't no. like that <laughs> <laughs> Take the load off your shoulders, right? 
same old shit. You have done it. Stay back. Sorry, I'm, I, I, I haven't been to charge it. I didn't realize every shot went off. Steal my assess. Oh, there we go. It was delayed. Wait, what did it say? When his HP is reduced, you fuse with scrap metal. Well, don't spoil that. <laughs> no, what's the description? The gun armed assailant responsible for the bloodshed and the gold saucer. After losing everything he held dear, he took up the mantle of a cold blooded executioner. Driven by an insatiable need for vengeance, he has turned his ire on the man he once called his closest friends. <laughs> I thought you were here to help me. He is. Oh, I don't have fire. It's okay, it just says he's weak to fire, but it just says inflicting damage pressures him. Be fine. Better watch where you're looking. I thought I had a fire attack. I like this fight. Adding the guards is a good choice. The best of friends together again! <laughs> Ain't it beautiful? Right now I just pla place trap traps problem? everywhere. You and me set trap, and you got caught. No oh god, I got I caught in it! Dude, literally as he said that I got caught in it. Charge each other? Oh, fuck. I really wish I had fire right about now, though. <laughs> They're just like begging. Thing. 
Yeah. Finally got pressured. I like that this fight's like kind of hard. If I fire, it'd probably be like easier, but I like that more drawn out because I don't know. Like it, like Barrett clearly doesn't want to do this, so the thought of him like going in and just like two shotting his best friend is pretty dumb. I think so. The fact that this like it's gonna take a while because he like doesn't want to hurt his friend. I think narratively, it's a good choice. Okay, as I'm about to freaking fire in the hole. It'll be all over soon. Eleanor, Marlene. I, I no, I can't, can't remember. remember. Oh, here's the. Well, now he's just kid. He's used to skin. Come on. You can do this. You can still you save can still him. Save him bear. I don't know. He's 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 a freaking Resident Evil enemy you now. Yourself, For real. Can I even shoot it? So well now what is it? When his HP is reduced, he will fuse with scrap metal perform powerful attacks. During this time he'll be difficult to pressure, however, destroying a discrete part. Will interrupt his attacks and make him more susceptible to staggered. Discrete parts like this? Is that what's discrete? I'm not executioner. I'm not that again. But yeah, imagine. Oh god. Imagine's like, don't make me do this, die, and like cast Ultima right away. <laughs> Last mine. No, he's got graboids. Nice, he got pressured from that. Ah, oh, fucking bomb. Annihilation beam? Run, Barret. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Barret.
the range on that is, is crazy. I'm sorry. If only I had my limit for that. Okay, it didn't matter. No, Dine, I'm sorry. Get on with it. I really like that fight. No, Dine. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! Then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? <clears throat> I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! No wise words. Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... Change our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day. Begging me to stop. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. But they were here? Oh, no one noticed them. Oh, no. Oh. He even helped him. His eyes. Hair too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. 
You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew. And still, you took her. That's not true. You took everything from Thought he me. died. Everything and everyone. Oh. Dad, we could go see Marley right now. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? We still protected Barrett. Dying. Well, that's different. Oh my god, not now! I'm grieving! <laughs> Freaking horrible timing! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, the original he jumped off. He's like, but him, him dying over Barrett. Freaking, that's that's really sad. See if the plot ghosts were here, they'd be shoving him off the cliff. They'd be like, no, 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 you're not dying on Barrett. I like, I like his, I like Dine's like jumping off the cliff, because he's like. Uh, like, I, like, what have I become? I just gotta end it. But I like that a lot too, because he actually like saves Barrett. So it's like, I think it was like a two in one. Like he was totally okay with dying, but he was he like he kept saying like he wants to die, but he just like couldn't do it. So essentially, him saving his friend while other people kill him is a suicide. But he's still doing it in a better way than dying over him. Yeah, and that refuses Barrett any closure with jumping off. I think it's more heartbreaking than we're trying to get someone to end him. Yeah, like him. I 
I think that the way they did it here is like because like at that point he had a reason to die it's not just like oh I can't kill myself I just I can't do it I can't do it and then he jumps off the cliff anyway to say well he eventually did it but this is just like he was afraid to kill himself like even to the end so like finding that reason and having Barrett be that reason and then his and then saying hi to Eleanor it's like she missed him that was that was a nice touch I thought so too Sparks I was thinking of the gloves and like can't hold Marlene with those bloodstained hands the way he was like rubbing his hands off his clothes that was good I'm just, I'm really yeah Die tell telling Barrett still his fault, telling that he has to carry that weight. That freaking that sucks. And Barrett's cry, like it's one thing. It's one thing for like people like like the audience to cry. But then like when you actually hear characters who's like actually affecting, like I don't know dying, that's not affecting me personally, but like hearing Barrett deal with that. And that scream and that cry, like hearing somebody like Barrett cry like that, freak, it sucks. <laughs> that broke me. Like he's someone like him, yeah. It's just like this isn't just anyone. We were all Tifa going Barrett. That was so. That was ten out of ten right there. I've been looking forward to that scene since, like the remake even got announced and I'm like this scene better break me and sure enough <laughs> freaking ugly cry did he did it my first ugly cry he's great yeah Barrett's Barrett's always been great I've always liked Barrett especially because of this backstory but having like a like I, I was talking about this in remake but just like having a VA like him I feel really lucky to have- what's his name? John Bentley? I feel lucky to have somebody like him rep Barrett. Cause that- scenes like that probably isn't very easy. Like you want to sound, you know, like Barrett's tough, but he also has like the sweetest, softest, like, tone to him. Barrett best girl. Oh my god, I like how- Everybody in this in this series is so slow to say Marlene's alive, by the way. Because after the plate fell and Barrett's just like, Marlene! Because he thought she was in there still. And then it took, in the original, it took Tifa like 30 minutes to be like, Oh, Marlene's alive, by the way. And then the remake, Cloud says it later, like after he's already been like grieving. And then now it's like, no, die, Marlene's alive. <laughs> Everyone takes forever. The next death, freaking worry about that when we get there. Also, thank you, Gemini Steven, for the tier one sub 13 minutes ago. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how long it would take for him to say that. I know, right? But like, dude, Marlene's fine. He wasn't entirely sure, but he did, he still knew. Like, Marlene, Aerith may have taken took Marlene. And then he dashes upstairs and he the Aerith. Yeah! God, that scene was so good. I'm really glad it didn't go straight to a battle, by the way, that we can stand here and wait. Very nice of those helicopters to wait for us. God, that was so good. I At first, I was just, like, a little mad at the added Shinra uh, soldiers, but I see how it was important to the way they changed it and how they conveyed it. That they would... Just make Barrett a stereotypical angry black man thing in my words. If proven wrong, the game came out like the VA's performance blowing out of the park. Yeah, I'm I'm glad. Cause Yeah, like, like a character like him, it could come off as like a parody, but it's it's like he he's Barrett's always just been like so much more than at what you might assume at face value or something. Cause his his backstory is like what made me love him so much. The fact that he like carried all that weight and all that guilt and like having like part survivor's guilt because he's the only one aside from- well, died survived it, but did he really? No, Kairos, that was sad. That's what, like, real- that's what made me ugly cry. <laughs> I was- I was, like, normal crying until the Barret sob, and then I- and then the freaking- I got one piece.
Just let Marlene burn to death as a baby? Well, the, the, the thing... The thing is that... He was... He wasn't thinking straight when he said that. He's like, you took my baby? Like, he... he it's... He's not right in the head. He, yeah, he's not rational. He's crazy. Unfortunately. He's... Like, he first saw the Marlene, he's just like, oh, she's safe, and then his irrational brain took that thought process elsewhere and thought, I can't believe you took her from me. That man, that man is scarred in every sense of the word. He had a psychological breaking point long ago, right? Like, that's that's been a man who's, who's who felt like everything's been taken from him and has been broken as a human being for four years like that's that's four years in the making crazy like there's no hope for him and he even admits that he knows that he's he's too far gone and he wants to die because he doesn't want to live like that but he just couldn't bring himself to kill himself and now he's <laughs> him dying on barrett saying he's gotta he's gotta carry that that freaking hurts and when you're that angry for that long it can be hard to turn off yeah i i I genuinely believe that a character like Dine, there, there's like no... He's like Sephiroth levels of like, there's no reforming, but like for different reasons, obviously. But it's just like, he's far too gone. Gonna carry that weight literally, hey -o. I do like that, I like that he meant literally and figuratively, you know? <laughs> Fair to me, saying Marlene's alive probably would seem as trying to shift the focus of the conversation, maybe. Yeah, because I, I think at that point, Barrett was more so trying to, like, help his friend directly. He wasn't trying to use, like, Marlene as, like, a bargaining chip. Like, he's just like, no, I care about you. This is about me and you, Dine. That was the only thing that saved him from becoming like Dine. Yeah, because he had something to hold on to. Because he... He, he, he didn't fail everyone. Like, Marlene was the last remaining... It was it was him... Because he thought Dine died. Like, Marlene and Barrett, at, for as far as Barrett knew, knew, were the last two remaining people of the village. So... He had that one lifeline to hold on to. Like, that gave him hope. That gave him hope that he's not... Like, there's no survivor's guilt, because there's another one. He could put all his energy in making sure... You know, he could raise her and make sure she's safe as kind of like retribution, I suppose, for everyone else dying. Right, like I failed everyone, but Marlene's alive, so I'm gonna put everything I have into keeping that way. Oh, Cowie Bebop's like, I'm gonna carry it that way. I don't remember that. I not want to see Marlene at the end because he killed so many people. Right! Like his... Like at first he was happy and then he was like disgusted with himself. Like he just couldn't fathom the idea of like holding her anymore. Well, I think that's the point. Barrett and Died could have exactly ended up the same if it weren't for Marlene. Marlene was the only thing keeping Barrett sane. The final nail to show just how far gone Dine is. Right! Because like, yeah, like... Like, he was thinking so irrationally, that's where his mind went first, basically. Oh yeah, I forgot, he said something about wanting to kill Marlene. Oh yeah, in the, in the original, that's true. In the original, he did say he wanted to, to find Marlene and kill her so that he can join... So that they, they can join Eleanor. Oh, I forgot about that. Probably good they'd left that line out, because it's a little weird. I mean, that would have been freaking chilling as fuck. But I feel like he's already, he's already very blatantly too far gone that, uh, they wouldn't have needed that line. That's emoji darkness I like. I mean, I wouldn't have minded, but I can see how that would be going too far. I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty jaded. I'm not soft. I can handle horrible things happening for the sake of story, but I definitely could see why that would be a bit too much. Thank you, Wormgate, for three months. Yeah, yeah, I, I like everything. I love- it's been phenomenal. No, like I was saying though, if, if the plot ghosts were here from Remake, they would have, like, shoved him off the ledge or something and it would have been pretty stupid. But he wanted to join his family, including Marlene, which she can now because Barrett kept her alive. Her living does take Marlene away from him in a way. Well, he still gets to join Eleanor. Because it, he's not joining Marlene because... She knows he's okay. At least he's 
joining Eleanor. If anything, I know he's he, like again. This this is from the words of a crazy man, where there's no there's no fixing him. And if he's joining Eleanor, at least even if he's not gonna say it, at least a part of him is probably feeling at peace that Marlene's alive. Because he even he's just like I can't face Marlene with my bloodied hands. Like I think I think he's okay with not having Marlene around. Explains to me how this keeps getting better. There has to be a non-great part of this game somehow. Do you know, th there was a sewer level and I'm like, oh, here we go. Here's the part that drags. And the sewer level was two minutes. <laughs> I don't know how it's so good. They didn't want to add the scene when making that part. What? One of the best. This is legit one of the best emotional moments of this game. Why would they ever want to get rid of it? That's why I reacted from a place of anger that she was still alive. I think, well, maybe, but he he did explicitly say he took her, took her from him. I think he meant literally, like when, yeah, you know, that's a, yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. That's a good point. He did literally take him from him, like if he died. We just pause and step for him and appreciate as he struck gold with the voice acting. That's what we were saying, yeah. Barrett's VA freaking killed it. Like, that scene, that scene is so important and I love it. It's one of my favorites. I knew I was gonna cry, I didn't know how much. But, yeah, he did great VA work. Shinra middle manager definitely have a more tragic backstory. Sorry, I died. <laughs> gonna die if you didn't go in and save her yeah but, but again like we're just we're just like talking in circles like there's no there's no like trying to talk died out of it he's been irrational for the last four years he's been crazy for years there's no saving him Barrett said what he thought was right leaving Marlene there would have been the death of her yeah but like why would he leave there you know like what uh oh everyone died Marlene's there She's crying. Uh, we'll just leave her with everyone else. Like, what the hell? Three hundred backward, almost. I think a lot of it does get three hundred. Oh, thank you for waiting. There's just so much to talk about. I moved it. Yeah, I, I know. I know what you meant. Kind of looking at it, like the cars. I think a lot of this game looks pre-runner. I think it's just because it's like everything's painted so well. God, yeah, carrying that guilt shit was fucked though. I feel so bad. This is the crux of Barrett's character. I can't imagine admitting it. Like, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense to omit it. The line remake when Barrett said even I used to buy into their bullshit. It really comes full circle for newcomers. Right! No, like, like, literally. And it, it just, it really does waste, weigh so much with how much, like, Barrett hates Shinra. Because he's always like preaching, you know, anti Shinra stuff in remake, and you you're, you don't for for newcomers. I mean, even if you play the original, like you don't know why. And then when you see this, it's just like Shinra like literally ruined his life. Because <laughs> like everyone that knows of of him hates him. Because when you go to Mount Coral, everyone's like hating him and saying he's a traitor. But he's taking it all because he feels responsible. How Dine brought up here to take the weight off your shoulders, something Barry used to say, which he didn't remake. Oh, yeah. That's what is a good connection. Yeah, and he believed in Shinra. He believes in Shinra, so he's like mad at himself too for accepting it. Now everyone really wants Scarlet dead. Yeah, she's a bitch. You're a veteran privy to some PTSD issues, not me. This is pretty on point. I scrolled up. He wanted to die for years to join his family, kill all these people, and hope someone would stop him. And episode 7 takes real tragedy from PTSD. It's a great story. I agree. I think stuff like that could be handled really badly. Because it can come off as like, oh, he's just crazy or something, but... Which I, I know people use like the term crazy loosely, just it, like if you're if you're not acting normal, it's people just use the term crazy because it's easy, but... It's definitely reasons like that that made him snap. You know, Barrett to not take shit from anyone. This is a major contrast to see him be the opposite in Corral. Exactly, yeah. Just like, like he looked small, <laughs> not like literally, but he just 
And you like, you don't know why at first. You just think like, why do these people hate you? Like, what did you do? And then it's you like, you really understand. It's like, well, it's really Shinra that fucked everyone over. Like he thought he was doing something right. Like, cause like his village, like Mount Cora, like it needed money. They, they definitely drove it home that the place was poor. And even though they were happy, like there was an opportunity to better their lives and Bear believed it. And like, you know, it sh if, if it didn't blow, blow, if the reactor didn't blow up, everything probably would have been fine. Like, there's no reason to believe that, like, coal mining was going to carry them for the rest of their life. Bounce the comedy and still be sad and tragic. I know, literally, we were just riding a chocobo and now we're crying because of Barrett's destroyed suicidal friend. Barrett said Marlene was alive, but Dime was too far gone. Exactly. Like, that really, like, sets it home. Like, he should be happy that Marlene's okay, and his immediate response was anger. Or maybe... His, his first response seemed like it was in this. It seemed like it was more like disbelief. And then anger. Because, yeah, I, I think I think it does kind of make more sense when Dine said you took her from me. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, it does seem like he literally means, like, post-death. Because he wanted Marlene to be dead so that he could join her, but now Barrett took that away from him. Oh my god, there's so many layers of fucked up with dying. It's so sad. So tragic. Like you found a reason to live, but you want to live? Maybe. No, I I don't know. I, I I like to think of it more like the morbid sense. But now, at least he gets Eleanor. Makes sense why Barrett's relieved when the deal with Rufus fell apart. He said no good ever comes to make deals with the devil. True, 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 true. I don't know. I, I feel like there's there's a lot of different ways you can interpret that scene, and I think that's what's so good about it, stuff like that, because it's sometimes you might connect with characters in different way and interpret things differently. But I I think since I I'm more of the person who likes tragedy, like as a like fictional entertainment thing, like I I always say this, but like I find tragedy so fascinating because the way characters respond to stuff like that is one of my favorite things. I love seeing how characters are written when they're like at rock bottom. I want to see how they crawl out of that. I think that's like the most fascinating avenue of character development. So for me, the most tragic potential, the, the most tragic option from that is dying, wishing Marlene was dead so he could see her and then that being taken away from him. That is so fucking sad, like on all fronts. And it's interesting how realistic it is. Right. This is why you like law being stressed. <laughs> I do like my boy stressed. Crawl out or fa fall out completely like dying. Right. There's the Barrett who crawled out and you see how he crawled out. It's literally Marlene is that reason. And you see why he, like you can't get out. And it's just because dying thought he didn't have anything. Oh, Dimitri. <laughs> See, Dimitri is like so parasocial because it's like your character, like when you make your professor, like that's you. It's like you help Dimitri. <laughs> when he says that bear goes full on, man, I can't let you live. I'm so sorry, dude. Poor Ketchy is just standing there like, <laughs> he's like, what? Like Ketchy literally like, what have I got myself into? That was so deep. Spider-Man just continues being friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Exactly. They did miss it. Listen, guys, you're not going to believe what just happened, okay? Did you hear? Dine said he has to carry that weight. He met these people yesterday, yeah. <laughs> and if you react, she was bonding with Baron. I That would be really nice if they kind of had, like, a one-on-one -on -one kind of deal. I don't know. Yeah, Baron's a, Baron and Yuffie's relationship is really sweet. I feel like there's so much potential for... Like a like a father daughter bonding thing because she hates her dad. Barrett is like a great dad with Marlene. I can see Yuffie doing something and Barrett saying something along the lines of like he'd hope Marlene could grow up to be as like ambitious as her or something like that. I think that'd be sweet. Yeah, they don't even know about Sonon. Yeah, they they just like vaguely referenced it when she's like, she said Shinra, like came in and ambushed Wutai, but they she didn't specifically say Scarlet. She just guessed right. She's like, let me guess, Scarlet, and they're like, yeah. 
<laughs> Reeve, yeah, Reeve's on his laptop or however he, con he controls Ketchy through like like puppet voodoo or something. There's like a term for it in, in some lore book or something. I can't remember what it is. But the thought of him controlling on his laptop, he was just like crying. That's funny. I can't wait to see how he fights too. Yeah, Inspire, that was it. Thank you. Yeah, he uses something like Inspire. Or it's called Inspire, but... Yuffie understands better than anyone. Bear just doesn't know it yet. I can't wait for him to find out. No, this isn't jarring from True, but... <laughs> just like being thrown into, like, this friend group that's dealing with tragedy is just like, ooh. Barrett Star is the only one that breaks Yuffie's demeanor. I like how she shows how she connects with him. Yeah, I think I think Yuffie having that one major connection is really important. But she does I know she's an optional character in FF7 original, right? But so is Vincent. But Vincent seems like he he Vincent's like more part of the story because he's like directly connected to Sephiroth and Lucrezia and all that. But I always felt like Yuffie was like the odd one out a little bit. Like, her and Wutai just, since it's all optional, like, it always felt so separate. So I think, like, directly having, like, a, that bond with Barry is a really good idea. On top of the whole idea that the Wutai War is this big, important thing that she's also connected to. Like, she actually feels like she's part of the world, not just, like, some girl you find in the forest. <laughs> people suck to their thighs but right or like that's that's the thing yeah like there's so there's so many twists and potential spoilers for ff7 but everyone just like goes straight to the Aerith dies thing like i feel like the Aerith dies knowledge in terms in pop culture just like became an, a meme you know like not not like it's it's not funny like her death's not funny but it's like when in doubt Aerith dies kind of stuff oh you old tiger, thanks to the 10. Uh, game's not ending soon. Not even close. She what? <laughs> she has her own personal reasons to hate Shinra, yeah. Her so was the first thing you ever learned of FF7. I think it was a surprise to me when I played it, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of people's like first knowledge. It's just like, oh, here's this character that I know is gonna die. Yeah, oh my god, I, I'm so... Red's... The, the red story is gonna break me, too. You're gonna display his error thing that he would basic bitch. I'll say it. Next time I'll say it that way. Video game version of Luke, I am your father to my parents. That's so accurate, yes. Luke, I am your father twist is the, like Aerith dies, but there's so much more. <laughs> red story give me fire. I'm so ready to cry again. I have been crying, Jonathan. The dying scene happened. When I played the OG the first time your doormate spoiled that for you immediately when he saw me play in the game. You didn't know about it prior? Damn. Roughly... Roughly... What year was that? I wonder how long you... I'm... I'm... If anything, I'm, like, impressed if people don't know Aerith's fate at this point. Because I feel like it's everywhere. So if, like, you just learned in 2024 her fate, I'm impressed. He's Luke's father? Oh shit, sorry. 2004? Okay, so like seven years. That's... That- I think that- that's a fair time to not know, so I'm- I'm mad at your doormate for spoiling it for you. Your doormate was an asshole, yeah. Like, especially while you're playing it? Like, that's not fair. Cause that's not even like a thing- Cause like, nowadays, like, the error thing, like, that just gets spoiled on the internet. That's just a thing that's on the internet. It's like Wikipedia. Air dies, by the way. <laughs> But, in 2004, it's not really like something that gets thrown around, so you'd have to go out of your way to spoil it. Oh. Is that one to manifest it? Yeah, 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 let's not manifest curses. Oh, I'm like shivering, because I'm like crying cold. I'm gonna get my food that's been sitting outside for a while, because it's... I was dealing with dying. Wait, is he alive too? He's breathing too. <clears throat> okay, I think we can proceed now. Oh, so uh, so catchy. Welcome to the team. We needed that thirty minutes to cool off and talk about it. That was great. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me in the conversation. Now we can see what these dickheads want. 
Is dying. I mean, oh my god. No, you can see them! Is Barrett okay? Is he just- he's just like crying, just letting- letting the- letting it all hit him. Barret? Oh, stop Shinra's attack. Oh, we're good. That's kind of sweet. We're letting him have his moment. Oh, look at him. No, you can like see him like sobbing and like twitching. Oh. <laughs> For everyone else, it was a Tuesday. Or like, thank god, we've been waiting 30 minutes for this. And here I thought that Gus guy was just yanking her chain. Same. Same, That's girl. Same. Is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Is that Palmer? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Oh, she does have ice cream. I didn't even notice. Well, have fun <laughs> down there, boss man. Good job, Rude. Are we seeing Palmer here? Dude, Palmer snapped too. I'm a director. You see what this game does? You just have the most dramatic moment with dying. And this, if we didn't have that like 30 minute cooldown conversation, we would have got thrust directly into Elena eating ice cream and Palmer like having, being a disgruntled Shinra employee. <laughs> the old FS7 whiplash, but like it, it would work. Cause like, every, like tensions are high. It goes sad to funny in a minute. It's just, it's pretty great. Like this is the re like Yakuza games do these, but like also organically, and it's like it's so good. Anyway, that's so funny. I'm really glad we took that break though, because holy crap! If otherwise, I would have pal paused at this Palmer scene. Palmer. Oh, I have Aerith. Crap. I don't have stuff on her. Click restart from the checkpoint was before the dine fight. How did you again? Oh shit. Disgruntled Shinra director. I'm sorry, I am I am uh, contributing to his disgruntledness. He's pretty disgruntled. Anyway, I like seeing him here. This is funny. And also his his mech sucks, by the way. He just like flopped over like a turtle. Sonic nice. Wait, what is this guy attacking the cocktail on a return state will deal significant damage? Thanks to a pop offensive while Palmer's talking with fresh air. Well, I think this game is just attack until it gets pressured. Some do like look, like he just overcharges. He's so stupid. You gotta restart from checkpoint, undid all the Corel Desert side missions. Oh, so checkpoint is bad. been relatively gruntled. <laughs> I mean, he, he does take things in stride. Like, he's been getting screwed over, like, constantly, and he's always just like, oh, well, like, he seems kind of docile about it. Like, it happens, but now, like, it, he's had it up to here. He just listed it all. Definitely disgruntled, yep. Poor dude. Poor dude. I mean, he sucks, but, you know, that's... It was seething, yeah. He's been he's been simmering since we made well even before that we didn't see it all. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. Get him! <laughs> he's the oh, so meaner meaner. Ah! He does it. He does that in in his Rocket Town boss fight. Boss fight, I use that term loosely. No way, I'm so happy! <laughs> Da a man just died, and you're just neener neenering with your ass out. Oh my god. <laughs> One more shot. Get him. 
Earth is pissed. Keeps trying to cheer us up. Honestly, it's doing a good job. <laughs> Can we Biora? Probably not him. He needs a stupid mech. Palmer made it, right? Can you get biora He's resistant. Wait, I didn't even check. He's immune to Biora. Okay. But he's a stupid mech, so you know, there's always a chance. <laughs> I like the song. That wasn't- was it on the list? Palmer dancing like an idiot? I know I wrote something Palmer related. Okay, mine was Palmer gets hit by a truck, so maybe that'll still happen? We'll see. Oh no, my pen. But, that's like so far ahead. Where's the truck? Yeah, we're waiting on it. Oh my god, this game. I love it so much. Sorry, I should probably... Probably beat him. I thought I have Blizzard, but not... I really like this song, though. Everyone's getting fucked over right now. Dude, he can't stay overturned long enough. Does she have prey? I got rid of prey. Okay. Oh, he's over there. Here I come. Oh, I thought Tifa. I thought Tifa had another bar for synergy. Okay, well, next, next time he's over turn now, I have, you know. This stuff kind of reminds me of a Yakuza song, actually. Cloud, are you healing or did you die? Standing there. Haha! <laughs> Yo! Tifa just doing casual judgment cut end. Hell yeah. Oops, I meant to have a sorry. <laughs> freaking Palmer right now. Dolphin Flurry, let's go! Go, Tifa, go! Yeah, she punched him so hard it's triggered a cutscene. Music change. Is it still the same? Wait, he's weak to lightning. I have Ramu on somebody. I have it on Yuffie. Shit. This is like a frog. Oh god, I don't like this song anymore. I think it's fine until... I mean, it's, it's still kind of a Yakuza song. Because I ate and seven, like, the new dub stuff type stuff. Why is he a frog, Palmer? What the fuck, dude? Oh, he's neener neenering again. Oh, but it's his whole mech. I agree. 
Aerith, can you please heal? She keeps dying instead of healing. Copy. I need to do another synergy. Oh, Aerith. So it's my turn? That'll do! That does it. Okay. No, don't die! Watch yourself. My turn. That was a big sweep, too. Plants protection's better, but just to make sure everyone is healed. MP. God, it's so bad. I really don't want to waste it on Ascension. I mean, on its leg. Well, Tifa almost has her limit up. Here, Tifa, get your limit. Still pressured already. God, if I had a better lightning, this would have been over already. It's because I only have thunder because it hasn't been fully leveled up. Oh, <laughs> she like tripped him. She's like, I don't think so. Spellbase blade's kind of slow. I think I might be able to- I know he's not, like, pressured, but I might- might do enough damage anyway. Yes! The uppercut did it. Oh, get out of here, Turks. Thanks, Alec. 
That's what I wanted. I wanted the uppercut or like limit break finisher. Oh no. Let me back to serious. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now. Roche? Oh. Wait. Is that Dio in the buggy? I recognize that hair. Wow. Fear not, friends. Your chariot awaits. <laughs> Dio? I've been using this to eavesdrop. Could never be too careful. Nice. But you were innocent. And I was wrong. Oh, Barrett. By way of apology, I gift you this. <sighs> you will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> How? <laughs> Yeah, Dio, this is not the time for you to be posing. A man just died. God, Barrett's still just like that. It's freaking heartbreaking. Okay. Does anyone know how to drive this thing? Leave it to me, lass. Please sit in her lap, aw. Freaking pervert Reeve. Barrett. He said he wanted me to live with the guilt. Well, we're here for you. <laughs> to help take the load off, huh? I mean it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you might. Oh, best friends. Come on. This is goodbye, old buddy. Great. Rude, not now. Did she go be hanging out with Reno? Your chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Riffraff. Time to get the blood pumping. Can I watch this fight? <laughs> oh my god, Dio. Rune's pretty strong. Hang on. <laughs> I want to watch though. <laughs> oh, poor Yuffie. Yo, new mini game. You sit. I got this. Turret mini game. Can I not? <laughs> well, we already did similar with the minecart. Yo, Barrett's got this. He's back, baby. Sorry, five time. <laughs> I know, right? Dio versus Rude looks so epic. I could have sat there and watched it all day. I hope, there, I hope we get like an uncut version of them fighting. I need to know who won. Hopefully we still find out. A Dio summon. You know, if this was Yakuza, Dio would be a pound me and you could summon him. Yeah, yeah, this is an infinite wall. 
Theo Death one look at him? Maybe. Oh, that was... Dude, Dio for the Dio coming in with a buggy for the rescue is so great. I I like that. I God, it, it's constant like whiplash with like emotions because just like something silly happens and it's like you're reminded that Barrett is just like staring at Dine the whole time. Ugh, rude Buster. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're, we're ready to go. Freaking Elena. Now we're the buttons. Every game needs a turret section. Got all that ammo. Hey, Elena, come down here and fight me yourself. Bet you won't. I'm gonna see Elena fighting Dio. Don't worry, guys. I've played RE5 on professional, okay? I'm a professional. But this is, like, way easier. Red's gonna get bumpy! Hang on! Yo, we get checkpoints! Shut up, Elena! You see. So this is still catchy driving, like, but like Reeve jumped in Tifa's lap to drive. Okay, we we see you, Reeve. You're not slick. Society so clear revelation. We're gonna say struggling five. <laughs> Elena's scream is so funny. Did you hear that? Like, her, her scream at Haunted Mansion was great, and then she just does it again here. God. Oh god, there's so many. Blow up that one, I'll get out of the way. God, aim. I was like, is Elena okay? <laughs> I don't even know if that was Elena. I assumed it was, but there's like another pilot. I don't know, I heard a woman, so I assumed it was her. attack first. This has more health, but... God, you know there's gonna be achievement for this, for like taking less than 90% or staying with 90% health or more. Just like the cloud motorcycle parts in Remake. I mean trophy, but... You know, I, I really like this part for Barrett too, because I also feel like it's it's him. Like, it's like a stress relief thing too. Because he's probably like really sad and pissed about what Shinra did to his friend all over again. Palmer! What now? Is this when he gets hit by the truck? Palmer! Give up, dude! <laughs> Take the hit, man. <laughs> The shadow hide.
Nope, stay to the right. No, I went too early. Try to get scanned to stop its attack. Oh. Uh. Hold on, I can't. The cursor's slow. No! I tried! Oh, damn, Rude left real fast. Okay, so Lena didn't crash, it was just someone else. Damn, girl. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit, okay, Elena's so cool. <laughs> OG Elena? Never do that. I've been saying this whole time. Oh fuck, we almost killed her. That was so exciting. <laughs> Elena, you you almost got him. If there's any consolation. So good. I've seen worse. So So if you do really good dialogue changes, I'm sure. Oh, I can't wait to see, like, the best one. I don't know. She's probably too young for that, to be honest. Oh, he still has it? Oh, so he, like, died with a picture of her? So he still kind of, like, died with Marlene? You know? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, are we getting another flashback? It's Reeve! What are you doing here? Oh. So this is the first time you find out. That's all to do it. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Thank you, Reed. You saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> we have avalanche at home. Don't have too much fun. So they do they they make it like a little bit more explicit that uh Reeve is cat like earlier. The Scottish is an accent. Fake. You called, sir? Just like the straw hat posters. What is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine. To see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. Hmm. 
It's a dream of mine. How cute. <laughs> Glenn. Glenn's just here to Who ruin scenes. Really? Oh, come on. You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? Is he a fellow a pig -headed, pathetic, daddy hating child. And you know this how? And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like we? you. To give the world a shot in the arm. Is he a Sviet or something now? Like, freaking deep brown bullshit? You see the Sephiroths in his cloud? Dude, maybe, I don't know. He's got like freaking Nero teleportation bullshit. But what do you truly want? Rufus, I've never agreed with you more. Anyway, this is like chapter like nine or something. Sector five, we're back to Zack. I constantly just have more and more questions. And when I have more questions, it switches timelines. And it's that I have more questions. It switches again. Anyway, hi, Zach. I really needed this. Let's start this manhunt. Oh, we're starting a manhunt. Oh, <laughs> inspect note. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what Biggs looks like, guys. Oh, let me let me remember. <laughs> Literally looking for Biggs. This is so hot. <laughs> so hot and lonely. That's the perfect dude to hone in on. Zach, your timeline's a shithole. There it is. This looks like a Aurora Boreal. It looks like it looks like a tear. Is Glenn from here? Is Glenn from the shithole timeline? I don't know. They're like, we worked hard making Sector 5. You're gonna see it, damn it. Oh, I feel like there's just still so much to like talk about and af after everything that's been happening. I I don't really like I want to know what the hell Glenn's doing here like what's his role in any of this but I also don't like him so I don't care. Looks like the Rift Goku Black made it super. Oh, I don't I remember him doing that. I don't remember it looking like that. I'll take your word for it though. <laughs> Glenn sucks. He sucks, right? There's a lot of plot dump. There was yeah, there's a lot of plot dump and okay, so it's cool that they're explicitly telling like or it's not explicit, but like more so they basically told you reeve was catchy this is this is like explicitly a big their way of doing and like so like that's how reeve hacked the uh the hotel rooms and now we have the fake straw hat wanted posters for <laughs> cloud baird and sifa which is pretty sick did sung know about reeve being catchy i don't think so i don't think he ever knew that's the worst thing in Rebirth. Dude, I was over here worrying, like, don't don't tell me if, like, Genesis is or anything, but I really do not like Genesis, okay? So, like, I was over here thinking, like, oh, the worst thing about Rebirth is if, if Genesis shows up, and now, like, freaking Glenn's, like, way more annoying. Like, Glenn's my problem. But if Genesis shows up, I might still be like, no, he's ours. So, Reeve is their friend. So... Reeve is another disgruntled Shinra employee, but he's always been, like, the nicer of the bunch. Like, he he's the only nice Shinra upper. Um, and they've conveyed that from the beginning. Like, he's he's always been questioning uh, former President Shinra's decisions, like, since Remake. So he's essentially betraying Shinra, but don't worry. There, there's more that happens with it. Yeah, Reeve, Reeve tries to do the right thing. Opa. Check if there's any stamp illustration. Oh yeah, I will. Gotta be Terrier stamp here. Unless there's a freaking third stamp. Don't have too much fun, Sung knows IMO. 
Maybe. Oh wait, no. He no, they they he knows. He knows. I forgot. Because yeah, I totally forgot. No, Sung has to know because there's there's the whole thing with what uh Ketchy hands over to Shinra later. I don't wanna blatantly say it until it happens. But yeah, no, Sung knows. And that's why he's like saying don't have too much fun. But Reeve is still he's still a good dude. I mean Daigo, yes. I don't know why she's in a honey bit be an outfit. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so song goes for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to. There's a, there's a lot going on. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's hard to remember ev literally everything until you think about it. There's also just a mascot at the saucer. It's not like he's obscure. True. I bet even... I bet it was probably even Shinra's idea. It's just like, oh, you can use Inspire? How about we use that to our advantage? Anyway, Zach's been staring at this photo of Vix for so long. We should probably try to go find him. Excuse me, have you seen this man? I've lived a long and full life. Oh, I love Zach so much. I'm so happy I see you! I see you in this engine in this game. I never... I never would have imagined... He would ever look like this. I thought we were gonna get PSP Zack as the most high res Zack. And that's it. Well, I guess technically Avid Children. And then and then Crisis Core Zack came out. But I thought that was gonna be like it. And now look at us. I don't know what he's doing here either. I'm so excited to find out. Okay, well I just took a big circle. Sorry guys, I'm I'm stupid. You're the guy with Aerith, right? Oats! He remembers me. Okay, I guess we're not gonna talk. Put his gear, can I? It just says save, load, and system. Yo! <laughs> Zach! Hey, where's Bruno? We're still trying to look for Bruno. How are you kids doing? Why don't we all go camping? Might as well get some use out of the new car. Do you mean it? Awesome! I'm gonna bite the bullet and tell her how I feel. Not to worry. Eric's in a wheelchair now. What happened? I don't know. But thankfully it sounds like she wasn't hurt too bad. I hope she gets better soon. You it's... could really use the help. Yeah, you got that right. This place just isn't the same without her around. It's funny they they say all that because like I we literally thought she was dead. Does this guy look familiar to you? Who's that? That's a no. What is this harsh shadow on this woman? Is that her shirt? Yeah, Zach uses the dull side. The investigation into the strange rift that appeared above Midgar continues. According to experts from Shinra's Research and Development Division, the radiation emitted by the rift has no effect whatsoever Liar. on the body and is completely harmless. So the rift just way, happened. Director Heidegger of Public Security had this to say in regards to the growing fear that the planet's demise is imminent. We're doing everything in our power to determine the nature of this rift. Disregard any baseless speculation. Tune in the day after tomorrow for our interview with the president, where we'll discuss the recent tornado, as well as his plans to combat the rift. See, when they say president, do they do you think they still mean like pre President Shinra or Rufus? Because I'm I'm thinking. According to experts from Shinra's research, he might still be alive for for this. Because they. They said presidents, it's like that could mean either war, but like it wouldn't be Rufus because Rufus didn't. Because if they already scheduled it, it's probably still Shin Dad Shinra. Because if it's Rufus, like he hasn't had his like inauguration thing yet. Like if, if the rift just happened, you know, I, I don't think they would. I don't know, because them, them saying the president, they're acting like nothing is wrong with that president. Uh topic 
Because if, 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 if Shinra just died and they're like, oh, we have an interview with Rufus, I feel like I feel like they might make note of that, you know, be like, with our, our new president or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's hey Rufus there. yet. You seen anyone who looks so like maybe this? Shinra's alive here. Can't say I have. Was this avalanche going after the reactor or Shinra Tower? I, they came out of the Shinra Tower. Yeah, we haven't heard anything about him dying. Because I, I, if, if like their president died, I feel like that would be a thing on the news too. Stamp spotted. Look for him. Oh, there he is. The Adventure of Stamp Book 3. Yeah, that's Terrier Stamp. It's like Beagle or Club. Yeah, I think part three would probably take less than part two did. Oh, I've, there's a woman I didn't talk to. Seen anyone around here who looks like this? <laughs> Put her. I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. Have you seen her that looks like this, chat? <laughs> Have you seen her that looks like this? Just shove it right in her face. Anyway, she doesn't know who Big is. Ma'am. Wait, did I talk to this person? They had, they had a. Never mind. You see me? If I did this. <laughs> Zach's that, that even more awkward than Cloud. Puts it away before. Uh, did she even see that? Dude, what places haven't I been to already? What's this map looking like? I feel like I've been everywhere. Maybe not so much the northern part. But over here it's like where Omira was. Watched any good show recently? One Piece. Pretty good show. The hell with it! Damn it! Quit it! Wutai is gonna end up being like a whole ass nation for sure. Can't wait. Like, I'm speaking of One Piece, I'm thinking of Wutai being like Wano tier in terms of like location, because Wano is huge, but also the Wano arc is super long and dense with plot. So I feel like Wutai is gonna be the Wano of this game. So, is she gonna be okay? Wait. Did Coats have an icon? Submarine minigame? Oh yeah! He keeps asking, I can't answer him, Oats. <laughs> Spark. I definitely missed- oh shit. Oh shit! I didn't miss anything. No! Let's go find out. Thanks, can we? Zach. Oh, I'm spending so much time with you, Zach. I'm so happy. I'm sorry your world sucks. He looks so cool. That's gotta be Avalanche again. That was the church, right? The church! Aerith! What did they do to Aerith's church? Oh no. Are they burning down any sort of like evidence or something? It's pro it probably is Biggs. Biggs, what are you doing? There he is! What'd you do? Is that... <laughs> There's our man. Please don't go back to Cloud yet. Man! <laughs> So where are we bound this fine day? South. Far south. And what's there? Not Corel, that's what. Now step on it. Very well. South it is. Hold on to your hats. Aww. <laughs> Chapter 9. Game toys their emotions. Yo, buggy! Go, buddy, buddy. But we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. 
I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shindra Sunday. That's not true. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting forward of an email. That's not true. Shindra lap dog. Lap cat. Lap cat. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Baron. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonding, not fighting. Barrett. Oh. Motion sickness. You won't take down Scarlet <gasps> unless I'm there with you. Hell yeah. All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid. Get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. Oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. <laughs> Pull over. The shit's about to pop. <laughs> Bear it. Lassie, not in the buggy. <laughs> not in the buggy. Oh no. <laughs> Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. <laughs> Just let me go. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is the worst idea ever. Aww. <laughs> Red was holding him. When you don't know where life's leading. You should get yourself a reading! That's Yuffie's theme playing right now. No, oh, it's green! Good fortune? The cloud got on it instantly. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! You mentioned something earlier it. about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? You yeah, get mushrooms. I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. <gasps> Are we going to Gungaga? Okay. Hey, she's good. good. Everybody, back in the car. Let's go, go, go. Well. Oh my god, we're going to Gungaga? My, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? Nice timing with the alert. I got Sorry. buggy. Won't it sound through the sands till we start seeing green? We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see. Aww. Yeah, join the party. How do you play? <laughs> Look at him sitting in the car. It's so cute. Okay, two things. So one, I, I'm trying not to like constantly talk over the cutscenes, so I'm gonna have a lot to say like afterward. But one, the way cat's like, oh, just a Shinra lap dog, lap cat, you know, whatever. So I guess they're aware of the whole Inspire thing, because nobody seemed to be like, oh, they have a cat employed? Like, they just kind of assumed that somebody was puppeteering the cat, I guess. So do they know that? So it must, it must be like a normal thing in this universe to like use Inspire? I don't know. That just seems like... Seems like they glossed over that real quick, so I guess we're just led to believe that it's normal. Uh, and so the robot Moogle... Pops in and out. Okay, that's kind of good. I, I was a little worried that the robot Moogle... And they do call it, like, Robot Cat, so they know he's, like, a robot. They think he's just a mascot for Shinra. But they, they know something's, like, controlling it, yeah. Because they called him a robot. What does Inspire do? It's bas It's like, they explained it as, like, like, a type of magic. Like, it's just voodoo, in a way. Like, I, I, the, the way I understand is, like, to us, it's something, like, along the lines of voodoo, but it's, it's just magic. Let's see Cadet fight. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see how he fights. 
Can't she has a tutorial at Chadley? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Talking cat and a robot Moogle that just pops out and that's it, pretty much. Um, and yeah, and then it's a robot Moogle. Hey, we got the buggy though, finally! Gold Saucer's offering new experiences. Your success at Choco Cup means you can now compete in more races. Musclehead Coliseum is also sorry, offering six person team bouts. Yo, buggy music! So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor's smack bang in the middle of a place famous for... Ah, you guessed it! The world's favorite fungi! Ooh! Mushrooms it's cloud driving. Oh my god, we're gonna go through water. Here, can we find Chadley quick so I- hold on. See, now I want to find Chadley. Yo! Here, we'll, we'll ride a little bit on the way.